right now three only then next time when this part needs to be evaluated string like still i'll get the remainder i'll get the remaining part this this is the answer so far which is the reverse value so far it is three now i will first do the same thing multiply this by 10 and then add the remainder cool i'll just do a 3 into 10 plus 2 i get a 32 again this will be a new reverse value for us so last will remain this i will just find the remainder again it is a 1 remaining value is a 0 so this is the remainder remaining value is a 0 again i'll i'll do the same thing reverse value into 10 plus this remainder which you have got i'll get a 3 2 1 so this is how you just simply get a reverse simply get the remainder multiply that by 10 at each step simply get the remainder multi 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 multiply that number by 10 get the reverse value so basically you just multiply the reverse value by 10 and then adding a remainder in that cool so that is how you can find the remainder this uh, you can find the reverse these are two methods to do that now okay when let's say you know that part also so just says as the reverse of the number a pair of indices i and j is nice if it satisfies all of the following conditions firstly that uh, it should not be equal which means i is less than j and also nums of i plus reverse of nums of j is equal to nums of j plus reverse of nums of i so firstly now i just have to return all such nice pairs which follow these conditions that is one thing so one thing for sure in this is that uh, what this thing indicates are in this thing only indicates that i is less than j it just indicates that the pairs are unique which means if i count if, if i have let's say an array like this of five elements if i have i here and j here i should count this pair only once this thing is saying that thing if let's say if i would have no condition on i and j so i can i could have counted that pair twice also so yeah this condition only says that his thing when i is less than j only count this as once so okay uh, one thing this says is count this as once but my ultimate target was to find the pair itself how to find the pair can i just infer something from this one way is i'll just go on finding all the pairs which is i and j i go on on all the ijs and go on all the ij pairs is just o of n square and o of n square would not work for sure for us so what we can do in this such cases we have already seen whenever some condition is given on i and j just separate those conditions and get i different and j different so what we will do with this condition is i'll just get i different and j different so i'll write the same thing as nums of i minus reverse of nums of i should be equal to or like equal to nums of j minus reverse of nums of j so this is my condition now how i knew that i want to you will see that it's a common trick just to get variables in just one term now why is this useful we will see it's only useful so that you only have to work on one variable now you don't have to go on j now you can only start working on the i itself just make sure that you take the ones which are having the equal value so now i can just consider this as one value let's say i consider this as one value let's say val now my main target is to find all such pairs which have the same val how i can do that i can simply go and let's say for this example i take the 42 now i'll just take okay uh, 42 11 1 97 i'll just simply do a reverse of this i'll just do a reverse of this okay it's an actual number which is let's say num i'll do a reverse of num and i'll get a 24 i get a 11 i get a 1 i get a 79 right now i'll just do a quickly subtraction of this nums minus reverse i'll do a nums minus reverse and what i will get with this nums minus reverse is just simple this nums minus reverse this nums minus reverse this nums minus reverse this nums minus reverse right so i have got this now this nums minus reverse just simply indicates this value val now my main target was it's a simple problem now now my main target was just to find all such pairs having the same val how we do it as simple as that we can just simply keep on going keep on going in the left and i can just keep this map like 
keep this value frequency i can just infer this number as a val i can keep this value frequency in my map okay so right now when i am 18 i am looking for any number previous 18 i have found okay right now i have not found okay his contribution is zero right now cool uh, i went on to him zero i am again asking for any zero value i have found previously or not oh sorry i have not found any value previously okay again his contribution also zero but i am also updating my map okay the frequency of 18 has been one the frequency of zero has been one i'm just updating frequency why it is useful because it will help me in future to say that okay for this number zero i'll firstly ask him zero bro have you find anyone like you previously he will say yeah bro i have found and there is one of these zeros so th this indicates that for him for this particular zero his contribution will be one how one he can just pair up with the previous this index zero i mean what if it would have previously more zeros cool no worries if it, it would have been more zeros let's say three zeros would have been there one two and three so his his contribution would have been three how he can pair with him he can pair with him he can pair with him these three pairs he can make so his contribution is three so for sure his contribution right now will be one cool i'll just go ahead and for sure i'll just update the frequency also two so that in future anyone else comes in let's say a zero comes in so he knows that he can make a pair with him and him and that's a simple prefix uh computation which we do that we just use prefix to actually find in the answer for the current number and it was only uh like possible when we have converted it to, it to just a one variable i so that i can just compute that value for the specific i itself now i have the value for the specific i, I itself right that's the reason now i just again will go on to 18 now i'll just ask him bro uh, what's the frequency you have got have you got other 18 previously also yeah bro i have got one 18 so this will indicate i can make one pair with the 18 previous 18 i can make one one pair with the with the previous 18 so that i will make his contribution of answer will also be one and i update the frequency also so his contribution was one his was one ultimately the final answer is two as you will see the final answer is two so that's how you can just simply convert your num your, firstly you have your uh, this nums you can find the reverse of nums you will compute this value which is nums minus reverse of nums so that you have got all the values with you then you can just go on from left to right and just keep on track ultimately there's another way also just to find the frequency let's say the frequency of these uh, zeros are let's say n so ultimately the number of unique pairs unique as in the the one satisfying the condition that i is less than j will be nothing but n into for the n values it will be n into n minus 1 by 2 that's one way but it is much more complex to firstly find out and think of so although like it's a very simple proof that if you have n values which are same the number of unique pairs will be n to n minus 1 by 2 how for just n for like for every let's say if you have these three values for each value you can just choose other two values so for n values you can choose other n minus 1 values but let's say for this value you choose this small like other value now again for this value you choose this value so it's a pair which is counted twice that's the reason you just do a n into n minus 1 by 2 that is one way to solve it also but uh, we just prefer this common standard prefix way to solve it because it's a very standard technique both are a standard technique please remember this fact cool ultimately we have just got the answer now we can just simply keep on adding the frequency which we have found earlier of a number in the answer and also keep on updating the frequency simultaneously let's quickly code this up it will be pretty simple um so firstly uh, as we saw that we need to find the reverse of a number so i can just say that uh, i'll just find the reverse of a number and uh, while i have the number left because ultimately i'm just concerned about the last digit and i'll just get the last digit which is no, nothing but nums mod 10 now i have got the last digit also so just simply uh, do one thing that uh, you have your val multiply the existing val by 10 add this last digit in your val uh, value and that is done for you now uh, also you have consumed the last digit so just remove that last digit ultimately i can just return my val which is the reverse value now i can just simply do one thing i can just simply keep on going in my answer 
in my nums but for that i just knew that i need to update i need to keep track of the frequency of of nums minus reverse of nums so uh, firstly i just also want the answer then i can just go on uh, inside my entire element so for auto element in my nums i need to find uh, this value as i showed you this val will be nothing but element minus reverse of element and i will just keep track with that frequency so i'll just do a answer uh, but yeah here also we need to have a modulo so just do one thing that uh, uh, take a hash define mod one one two three four five six seven eight nine seven then it will actually help us to do a modulo with the val now i have added my val if there is and also for sure uh, it's not simply val it's just the frequency of the number val right now i just update the frequency also for that val and simply return your answer with the mod value hope this works uh, if you have no typos and stuff yeah so yeah thanks for watching bye bye